today's song is one that continues the theme of the office of our Lord Jesus as the great high priest uh, who has entered into the most holy place with his own blood and is still uh, set down at the right hand of God the Father as our high priest, both God and man. And uh, that our priesthood, our priestly calling, is because we are united with him. And as the writer of the Hebrews says uh, of the Lord Jesus himself, he will proclaim the name of the Father to his brothers in the midst of the congregation. He will lead us in worship. And one of the things I've been trying to say about top-down worship uh, is that uh, we, when we worship, we enter the most holy place. We enter heaven by the grace of the Holy Spirit, and we worship God at his throne. The writer to the Hebrews says, let us approach the throne of grace, or let us have confidence to enter the most holy place. And so uh, attempts to turn buildings on earth into something that sort of either symbolizes or represents or signifies uh, heaven uh, and heavenly worship as a sort of aid to doing that is no help at all really because uh, God is spirit and those who worship must worship in spirit and in truth and as Paul says to the Philippians we are the true circumcision who worship God in spirit and so in the very depths of our being uh, of our soul of our heart we have mind affections will as part of our, our soul or our heart the deepest realm of our heart is our spirit which is united to the Lord Jesus he who is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him and our spirit is united to him as again Paul says in Colossians set your mind on things that are above not on things on earth because you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God and so in a, a, some mysterious way, by the power of the Spirit, our spirits are united to the Lord Jesus where he sits in heaven. And as we worship in spirit, our spirit beholds the glory of God. And by the power of God's word and the light of his words, by the grace of the Spirit, the, um, the part of our soul that is our mind, our reasoning, our affections, desires, emotions, and our wills can be powerfully affected by what is happening in our spirit so that our minds, uh, if you want to, just are raised to a higher level of revelation. Our emotions are quickened with delight and joy in God and our will is more completely yielded and aligned to him. And so I really believe that Worship is uh, not to be confused with what's often called a worship experience that can be um, manufactured by a good band and good tunes and nice songs and lots of nice people around you and a good PA system, comfortable surroundings. Uh, you can manufacture that kind of so-called worship experience. But worship is not manufactured. That's all bottom-up stuff. Worship is top down, coming from him. And uh, Psalm 11 is to me very powerful. And this is the old covenant. And in Psalm 11, in verse 4, David says, The Lord, Yahweh, is in his holy temple. And he doesn't mean by that the earthly temple. He means heaven. He says, The Lord sits on his heavenly throne. That's where he is. But then in the last verse of the psalm, he says, upright man will see his face. And I don't believe David's talking about some time in the future, because we know in one of his other psalms, he says, I have seen you in the sanctuary, beholding your power and your glory. One thing have I asked of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in your house. He doesn't mean the temple or the tabernacle because he wasn't a priest. He means God's heavenly house because David saw, as Abraham did, way beyond this world into the, uh, the city of God, Mount Zion, into the heavenly temple, that I may behold 
the beauty of the Lord and inquire in his temple. And so today's uh, uh, song is taken from Psalm 36. Uh, it's a song as I was introduced to um, many years ago, over late 70s probably. It was through an album um, uh, that was uh, in which Phil Kege was singing. And it's uh, a beautiful song about God's steadfast love, faithfulness, righteousness, wisdom and so on. But it's experiential and why I've chosen this today is because when we're in the Spirit, when we're worshipping God, this is what we behold. We behold his steadfast love. We behold his righteousness. We behold his wisdom. He comes to us and everything that is written in these few words taken from Psalm 36, and this was Old Covenant, is how much more true for us is it in the New Covenant now that our eyes are opened to what it means to be so united with Christ and our life to be hidden with Christ in God. Your steadfast love extends to the heavens. Your faithfulness Reaches to the clouds, your righteousness is like majestic mountains, and your wisdom like the depths of the sea, and you come to me. kindness I find my peace in the shadow of your wings I eat my fill from abundance in your household and I drink from your streams of rejoicing you are my King, filling my heart is your loving kindness. I find my peace in the shadow of your wings. I eat my fill from abundance in your household. And I drink from your streams of rejoicing. You are my King. Your steadfast love extends to the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Your righteousness is like majestic mountains, and your wisdom like the depths of the sea, and you come to me, filling my heart is your loving kindness. I find my peace in the shadow of your wings. I eat my fill from abundance in your household, and I drink from your streams of rejoicing, you are my King.